The doctors are in. The enemy winning talk show continues to share important medical information with viewers on a range of topics. And joining us now to tell us all about some of the upcoming episodes we can watch, Dr. Travis Stork. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, sir. Hey, How goes it? It goes well. Great to have you here. Now, you, uh, you guys actually have a, uh, a national campaign kicking off next week called Fierce Flaws. What's that all about? Well, this is exactly as it sounds. It's about embracing our flaws, calling them our fierce flaws rather than being something that we try to hide. Because on The Doctors recently, we've been talking a lot about the image that we put out there in society of the perfect body. It's a magazine cover, social media. We see all these people with these quote unquote perfect bodies. But in medicine, we know that the perfect body isn't about perfect health. Good health, look, Good health can include having flaws, and so celebrating those flaws instead of trying to hide them constantly. And you know, we we all believe that we're supposed to be stick thin and 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 never have anything wrong with our physiques. And so this campaign, we're going to be doing it throughout the month, is really about embracing those flaws and, and looking at them as something that makes us fierce and unique. Look, I think in, in today's world, I think that's a great thing to be doing, especially on a show like that, because a lot of times we as viewers or folks who are looking through magazines see all of these celebrities and see everybody who's in these fitness magazines and think, man, they, they're perfect. But what they don't realize is they also have a team, a staff behind them, making them look that good. They do, and also, well, you know, interestingly, that perfect physique that people strive for, oftentimes to get there, you have to do a lot of unhealthy things, <laughs> ironically. And I, and I think that's a message we always try to talk about on the doctors, which is certainly I would never tell someone if you're looking to go get that eight pack, go for it if you do it the right way. But unfortunately, a lot of times people don't go about it the right way. And I would much rather have someone carry a few extra pounds, for instance, and be healthy than try to lose all this weight the wrong way to match some image they see on a cover. So it's really about being healthy and, and, and celebrating who you are. And really about a balance in your everyday life because you also have an episode for everybody who's watching their waistline and it is tough. And a lot of times it's, not, it's tough for guys, tough for women to lose the belly fat that they pack on all the time. It is. And in January, I came out with a book called The Lose Your Belly Diet, really focusing on long-term weight loss and everything from how if you modify the makeup of your gut bacteria, how that can make you leaner over the long term, but also simple things like, well, if people did one thing, and that was simply to increase their fiber intake, and that could be as simple as getting rid of all the white breads and pastas and replacing them with whole grain breads, for example, and pastas, that alone can increase people's fiber intake and actually not only lead to weight loss, but other dramatic improvements like, as silly as it sounds, improving the makeup of our gut bacteria. And, and believe it or not, that's a really important thing when it comes to long-term weight loss. Well, it is a, uh, it's a great show, and we are so glad you're back on with us again. Thanks so much. The Doctor's Ears, weekday mornings on our sister station, Fox Providence.